Um, my name is James Robinson. I'm a professor at the University of Chicago. Uh, I study comparative economic and political development and uh, I'm an alumni of Warwick University. I did a master's degree here 30 years ago. Uh, so uh, it's always exciting to be back. Yeah, I was talking about my book Why Nations Fail, uh, which came out in 2012, which is it's a, it's a sort of, it's a book trying to put together a lot of the research I've done on comparative economic and political development in the last 20 years with Darren Ashimolu, who's an economist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And you know, it's trying to look at comparative economic development today and historically, and trying to explain why some countries are economically successful and why some countries are not economically successful. There's a lot of interest in the students who come here in economic development. So you know, I think my idea, the idea was just for me to come in and give a, big picture provocative talk about, you know, why is it that some countries are poor and why is it that some countries are rich? And you know, in some sense that's one of the most that's one of the oldest and most interesting questions in economics. So the idea is just to sort of get them going, you know, full of questions and ideas and things like that. So I hope, you know, I hope it'll be useful for them in terms of inspiring them to think about these problems and questions. I had to give a little speech and uh, you know, so I actually had to reflect a little bit of, you know, why Warwick, you know, why Warwick had been important for me. You know, I, I think in my terms of my kind of professional career and my just my life generally, when I started at Warwick, it was a sort of inflection point that had all sorts of consequences for, you know, why I ended up doing what I did. And uh, it was particularly nice because, you know, after I studied here, I went and I did a PhD in the United States and I've been a professor in the United States ever since. And there were two other people, two professors, who are still here, still active intellectually, still teaching, who wrote me letters of recommendation to go to the United States 30 years ago. But not just wrote me letters of recommendation, they persuaded me that I could do it and it would be good for me. So, so I, I, Warwick had a fantastic, they kind of shoved me in the right direction and they gave me a lot of confidence that I could do, you know, what I could achieve my, my sort of dream. And, you know, that you couldn't ask for anything better than that from a professor, could you? So, uh, so it was a very, very nice experience to see them there on stage. And just, you know, just to celebrate, you know, what a, what a high class, what a functional and impressive university this is, you know, and has been for many years. So I'm very happy to be part of that and be a loyal Warwick alumni. When I think back about, you know, my kind of career and when I was young and when I was studying, I think, you know, the biggest problem I had were there was things that I was like really super interested in and I thought were just fascinating. But you're really unsure, you know, about should I study this? You know, am I really good at it? Is it going to be useful? And, you know, I had a lot of support, you know, from my family and also, you know, here and in other places that I should just go after what you're interested in. You know, if you're fascinated in something, just go after it and try to make that your life, you know, because there's no better way of living in my experience. Just, you know, if you've got a dream and you see something you really want to do, just don't hesitate. Just Go for it and just, you know, if you fail, fine, you know, life is full of setbacks and failures, but you know, you'll always regret not going for it. So if you like to study, you like to do research, you like to think, you like to dream, you know, just work and go for it. That's, that's my advice.